All right, here's my question. My friend is 17 and has a body count of nine and she only started in January. Wow, okay. How do I tell her to stop being so available in the nicest way possible? So what is body count that she started from January and they had nine? Okay, um... <laughs> You know, okay, you know, um, when, when you're in, when, when people are enjoying, enjoy, uh -huh. when people are enjoying life and sometimes they just, are you get, saying get, 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 within get. January to that time we have nine men? Jesus is not, just let's pass. Let's pass. <laughs> no, that's not good. So you don't want to help her? No, 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 no. Next no, question. No, no, next. <laughs> I want to make a million. I want a big fat crib with a girl like Christine Million Who can put chicken, I can put sweet chili on In the R.A. Willie Gone, see my bitches be Bad and booty, they like to eat We don't eat, I roll to the ends with my babe hoodie Haters like how could he? They show me no love, I'm screaming oh lord back Yo guys, it's your boy Eman Kellum and welcome back to my channel Today, I'm gonna be introducing you guys to a new segment called Ask the Kellums In which, I need to reintroduce to you a very special guest, so Hi guys, what's cooking? Bring it on. Say what go on to my dad. What go on? <laughs> <laughs> and it's been like how long? It's been like three years. We haven't done one of these in three years. No, it's not three years. No. It's about a year. No, not a year. We haven't done one of these in like three years. No, because I've been busy with work and business. He's too so. famous now, isn't it? So yeah, Papa Kellum's returned to the channel, and I've asked you guys to send in some questions and also some dilemmas. So without further ado, should we get into it? Let's go around with it. Let's get it cracking. When did you decide what you wanted it to be? Um, somewhere at the age of 15, 16, you started having the feeling of what you want to be. Mm. Then you look into your results, mm. where your results comes in. Apparently you got an underline what I wanted to become. So that's it really, and you discuss it with your parents, and you, you must be the one to make the decision, mm. but be flexible in discussing what you want to do with your parents, they will be able to guide you. Mm. Well, I've always known since I was younger that I wanted to get into theatre or media or acting, so I guess like, I kind of, it was like primary school right, like doing plays and that, mm -hmm. like doing plays in primary school. And I never like it. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm saying right, mm -hmm. until they find out there's money inside the parts, they don't want any kind of interest. So. I want lawyer, doctor, engineer. Dentist, you know what I mean. I'm not trying to hear that. <laughs> but it's all right, it's all right. We can. The, the teachers were telling them, "Let me be an actor. Let me study theatre." But they weren't trying to hear it. But they supported me in the end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because his happiness is our happiness, so we have to be happy. Oh, Dad! Oh, oh Dad! Oh. <laughs> Do you ever wish to replace your son with a daughter? Wow. What a question. No, I don't believe in that. I actually, I have a sister. <laughs> exactly. For you lot that don't know, I actually have a sister. I'm not an only child. I have a sister who's a bit older than me. Yeah. So. And you look after him. He's a baby. I'm not a baby. You're a baby to Esther. Esther's more older than you. But so. I'm, like, I'm nearly 20 years old. Like, cut it, me some slack. It doesn't matter. You're still a baby. Yeah. It's just big in the background. <laughs> I'm the sister. Go away! Yo. Yo, why are you being such a beg? Why is she beg? That's her sister, you know. Why is she such a beg? I don't know, she's here. The big sister is she's, there. She's, she's such a beg. Turn off the light. Oh, sorry. As a Nigerian, is it acceptable to marry someone of a different race, such as South Asian? Why not? Why can't you marry? Yeah, why not? What you need to do is to understand each other, mm. know their parents know what they like, their religion, and try to interrelate your culture together. Those big words, interrelate. To be warm. Yeah. Interrelation. You know, interrelate. You interrelate your relationship with both other. Okay. And then you blend it, and then you love each other, and you get married. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, me. I don't, I don't discriminate. I love all kinds of women. Black women. Especially black women. Um. Ethiopian women, Somali girls, East African girls are beautiful. West African girls, are, to be honest, all girls are beautiful, innit? But me, I love East African women. Um, I love my Somalian girls. Yeah, but know what you want, my dear. I love my Ethiopian girls. Know what you want. I beg you now, making I know what I want to. <laughs> life is too short. So life. far, you find that happiness. Grab it. Yeah. So life is too short. So obviously, my DMs are open, guys, for all the Somali girls, mm -hmm. for all the Ethiopians, mm -hmm. for my Nigerian princesses. <laughs> I well, love that. I'm joking. This is making I'm, me look first. I'm, I'm actually thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> you actually, I'm, I'm thinking it. Thinking it. Thinking like, it. He, thinking he, it. Like, to be honest, he's just thinking about the rice and the stew at the wedding. That's all he's thinking about. No, That's why he has cake. And the cake. And your deku. <laughs> I like your deku. When you give me your deku, when I drink your deku like this, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. I like a girl, 
but she likes me and another guy, how can I make her choose me? Can I do this one quickly? Mm -hmm. I don't think you can like two people at the same time. Like, I feel like if you were to like someone first and then to like another person, then like, the re they, they fell out of interest in you to like another person, you know what I'm saying? I don't no, feel like- I, I think if you're young, I'm talking about 16 to 21, girls, men, men, girls, boys, they want to experiment. They are looking for a faithful man because some men are not faithful, neither is a woman are faithful as well. So you just have to reassure this lady that you are a faithful person. Okay. But then again, we look at that, like, we're, we're all pretty young. I don't understand why everyone's in such a, re a rush to get into a relationship. No, because everybody wants happiness. So if you know you want to be faithful, you want to be straightforward, just get on with it. Get to know his parents. Get to know her Whoa, parents. 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 Yeah, at, you, at 16. At 16, doesn't matter. You are not going to get married immediately, but the problem, what I'm saying is that... Marriage? You get to, yes. You, you, so you think marriage is the... People want to get married at 16? I've seen some people who are dating from the age of 16 and they get married at the age of 22, 23. But that's not everyone, Dad. Oh, that's not, I know that's not everyone, but it happens. In, in Disney? Yeah. In a Disney film? Yeah. Not real life? It's real life. It's, real life. it's not real life. It's, it's real life. It's not real. So, but if the lady is doing pum 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 all over, oh my God. Then that's the problem. I will tell you to just reverse your car and go home and sleep. <laughs> That's the best option. Ah, oh, this guy's gonna kill me. Next question, next question. What is better, Gary or Pounded Yam? Most African men love Pounded Yam. Love Pounded Yam. Yeah, good. Love to pound yam. Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you wish as a job for your son? What do you think would be a good decision? I'm from Germany, so if it's not possible to understand what I meant, I'm very sorry. It's cool, man. Your English was fine. But, Dad, what were you saying about? Yeah, your English was accurate. I'm fine with what my son is doing. If he wants to go to the media, if he wants to go to a TV show, all well and good. So, if I bring money into my pocket. Of course, because that's all you don't care about money. I love money. Nigerians. Like, oh, oh. No, it's not about Nigeria. No money, no money. No, no, no. But, uh, no, okay, I'm not even just Nigerians. Africans in general. Exactly. They just want money. Yeah, but because there's no money, no honey. Oh, my God. That's true. <laughs> it's true. But it's fun funnily enough, my dad didn't even know. Both my parents didn't even know I did YouTube until one time that they met my head teacher and he was speaking to them about it. My old head teacher when I was in secondary school, he's a, he's a bit of an idiot, but we're not going to go into that. But, <laughs> but, yeah, he literally told them about it, told them it was a waste of time and... You found out about it and you guys, you guys were like, what the hell is this? Like, what's, what's, what's yeah, YouTube? Because he haven't been discussing with his parents, otherwise we well, we just blown up that what's going on? We send you to school to learn <laughs> chemistry, physics, biology, math, hard math, and all that. Oh my God. But you chose to go into these ways, so you just have to love it, innit? <laughs> guys, parents, you need to be flexible sometimes. African parents, talk to your kids. I think communication's key. Me and my dad, we had conversations, yeah. and my mum as well. We had conversations about my future. Mm -hmm. We had conversations about what I wanted to do. And I feel like kids as well, don't be afraid to talk to your parents. Mm -hmm. Parents, please talk to your kids. Like, it's important. Look for when it's appropriate to talk to your parents. Yeah. That is much more comfortable for your parents to be able to relax and listen to you. Mm. Once they listen to you, they will then refer back to you or come back to you or talk to you about it. And you'll be fine with them. So you have to love your parents. Parent is good, man. <laughs> okay, wow. This one's a novel. Novel? This, one, this girl can be a novelist. He's a writer. Let's see. Okay, let's go. My friend was seeing a boy from her uni and they got close really quickly. Prior to them actually talking, he had just gotten out of a relationship and she was reluctant to go there. But in the end, she just went with the flow. She's usually the no strings type, but she really fell for him hard because he made her feel like things would be different. Recently, he said that he doesn't want to take things further because he wants to enjoy being single. These times, should he not have thought of that before pursuing her? KMT, kiss my teeth. Mm -hmm. Well, she still wants him, but she also wants to do up baby girl herself. Should she try to get him back or just do up baby girl and be in her element? Listen, just be friend of her. That's it. Keep it friendly. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Don't let him take you for one yeah, salad, to one mm. rice, mm. one side. Mm. I will take you to be a carrot to chew any time. She will suck out the sweetness and then dump the rubbish. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel it. Where did, where did the carrot come from? I was talking about like being a side. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Because when you suck in the sweetness in carrot, 
you know, the other ones is rubbish. So don't let them turn you to be a carrot. What would you do if you found out Eman has seven baby mamas? Oh, I would be mad. I would be crazy. One minute, let me show you something. <laughs> Where's this guy going? Come here. Wait, hold on. If he's doing what I think he's about to do, then this guy is crazy. <laughs> Wait. He actually bought the broom! Yeah. It's the same broom! Yeah. They, look, turn it over so they know. Do you know this is the same broom from three years ago? Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you whoa. say it's pregnant? Uh, da, 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 wait, wait, wait. Who oh, do you say it's pregnant? Anna Ben, Anna Ben, who? Da, 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 da. Anna Ben, who? I mean, you can't have seven baby. That is even disgusting. There's a couple. There's a couple guys that are low key. They don't know. In, in uni, couple. They got a couple baby moms. They don't even know. No, they are crazy. That's not nice. <laughs> couple babies. No, 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 no. <laughs> guys, don't have couple babies. Not good. When you get old, that's when you will pay for it. One woman, one man, be happy. That's it. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> Did you just say finish? Stephanie. So you're speaking French now? Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. My dad's a man of more Italians. He just hit me with a French. C'est fini. Fini. <laughs> Finito. Me and my two friends are always looking for a motive. We always make plans in advance and agree on a time and a date. When it's time to... When it's time to go to the motive, one of my friends always calls and says I can't make it. It's become an ongoing issue. What shall I do? A motive's like... Mm. You know, like a party or just a, something to do, like, mm. just something to like a link up or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, honestly, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like your friends are taking the mick. Like, you can't keep arranging to meet up, right, and then cancel again and again. Or your friend, not your friends, your friends taking the mick. Like, you have to start questioning your friendship. Or if they're genuinely busy, yeah, that makes sense. But constantly, like every time. Something's a bit off there, I feel like. Yeah, I think what you should do as well is to talk to her or him. And what you can do as well is when he wants to invite you out, you also will cancel. Wow. And then call him by that, how does he feel? <laughs> then you come together and resolve it. Yeah, you're really giving, that's pepper. No, it's not, you just have to, you know, call a spade a spade. That's it. Spadey spades. Yeah. What's that? Then you just have to tell her how you felt or how you, how you, you don't know what I mean. Okay. Hi, e man. I've been talking to this guy for about three to four months now. We talk every day. We've hung out a couple of times, watched movies, not had sex, but he's very hands-on when we're kissing. We haven't had the discussion of where we're going or what are we. I personally hate being asked that question, hence why I don't want to ask him. But do you think he's actually into me or trying to get something? Because it was me that made the first move to start talking to him. And it's me that always invites him around mine. He treats me like just a friend when we're around other people. Am I overanalyzing? If he's treating you, like just a friend in front of other people. To be honest, I think he's I think he's trying to get a little something something. Yeah, just stop all those kissing and, and just, just be a straight friend. Just remove yourself. So thanks for watching guys and have a good Father's Day, Dad. Have you got anything else to say to Ah, uh, thank you guys. Make sure whatever you do, you play safe and be good. Enjoy yourself. Life is too short. Wow. Cut me with the motivational quotes. I'm just gonna fade it out with African music and, okay. and you know like an Anollywood film yeah when it says to copy the glory yeah and I'm gonna fade it out like that okay and then African music's gonna start to okay. it's just gonna start playing at some point okay guys well see you it's gonna, it's gonna do that okay yeah it's gonna do that it's a yeah. finance day have fun with your parents yeah do that enjoy.